Hello, Snipers227 here with my second tutorial in my uh, engine series. Um, if you missed the first tutorial, I suggest you go back to it. Um, and now we're going to continue our Windows class. So, we're creating the window. Um, so, again, the SID window. And then we should have win create, and our parameters are instance, h instance, char, win name, int win width. <clears throat> so now that we created the windows class we need to create the window so we're going to use our um, window handle uh, variable and set it to the create window function so first parameter is windows class so it's as said second is a windows name so win name style is ws visible visible and for this window's sake it's not going to be a window that you could maximize minimize it's going to be a fixed um fixed width and height so it's only going to have a minimize uh, button and x button close button this is going to be grayed out so ws sys menu system menu is the close button and ws minimize my box is the other um, button x of and y of the <coughs> window just gonna have it at zero start at zero zero the width is gonna be win width and height is gonna be win height and no no instance and no so that's basically a create a window simple enough and again um, error checking so if in case the window there's an error and the window doesn't create we want to let the user know message box no error cannot create OK button and then return 0. Oops. There we go. So that's how you create the window and last function to do is going to be the one loop and that should take message message. And basically, we're going to make a message which is while um, running I believe our, that's what our, our boolean was called if get message and message null zero, zero or wait sorry I think it's if peak message message and message <coughs> no zero zero and, and move batch message message not sure if that's the right order um, 
Yeah. So this is see if um, the user. Sorry about that. Can't having trouble typing and uh, talking. If uh, the user basically, or if the window gets the. Um, exit message so if it's uh, if they basically try and close a window that message is going to be sent and over here I put the else because that's where we're going to run our game loop so if they don't press that then we're going to put all our code here that we want to execute while the window is running so I'm just going to check up on that order, so, um, windows loop peak message, so, what I do, translate, it's, uh, translate dispatch, did the other way around, so, just gonna copy that there. <coughs> And now that that's done, we have everything we need to create our window. Let's go check the time here, 6 minutes, or I'm going to try and keep this video under 10 minutes, so now that we have all this done, we need to make one more thing, which is our run proc, and we're going to create that in our as a name function, name.cpp. So, this is going to include both our um, header files. Or one sec. Yeah, so we only have to include one of them because window.h is already linked to core engine, so first thing we're going to do is make our main function, so the main function of your programming language, which is executed, and win32 is int, win api, win main, and it's going to be h instance, another uh, handler, instance which is h previous and this is going to be lp scr cmd line and n cmd show so now <coughs> so Sorry about that, so create our old salt callback when prop and then from the parameters Email message public param outcome and make a switch statement switch message case wm create and another one is going to be wm destroy so pretty self explanatory ones when the windows created ones when the windows destroyed we only need destroyed because if the user hits the close button we want it to close. That's why we need to put a um uh, sorry we need to put a or we need to put this function called post clip message which closes the window and we're gonna set running to false so it ends a loop too. 
So next thing we need to do is return def window prop, I believe. There we go. Just fill it up. So window handle message that we ran. I'll turn and now to finish this tutorial off, I'm gonna make um gonna make a, um the pointer so as the window so class name first star window just make a win equal null. And when oopsies, and it should give me the option. Oh, it's lagging. It should give me the option for which yeah, see when class h instance when create h instance. The window's name, so we're gonna make it snipers seven engine. And then the window width, so 124 by 768 seems to be decent. And then win loop, and just put message. And <clears throat> Up top here, we'll just make that message variable and return zero. So now, hopefully, everything everything went well. Run it, and it'll a uh, simple gray window will pop up. So just waiting on a. Uh, Compiler, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while. Considering stupid Windows 8. Oh, there we go, we got progress. Compile, compile, compile. I wonder if they're background. You know, something in the background running that's slowing Windows 8 down. Maybe it's because all the apps. Because when I had Windows 7, it took about less than 10 seconds to compile. And there you have it. Now it's going to run. There we go. And we have our window, a gray window, a simple gray window, and our destroy message, which will kill it. And to know if it's successfully been killed. You could see that start debug is an option. Usually when it's running the only option is see how it's grayed out. The only option is stop debugging that start. I'll just show you oh no, substitute to seven, goodbye.